Hello students, so today we are going to discuss the solution of 5th test paper of AIATS 2018 that is All India Cast Test Series for Medical. We will be discussing the questions of zoology from code A. So without any further delay, let's begin with our very first question. That is question 136. Read the following statements. Statement A says, a group of similar cells along with intercellular substances performing a specific function form a tissue. This statement is correct and it is the basic definition of tissue. You know that the tissue comprises of group of cells which usually have a common origin and these cells they together perform a specialized function. So statement A is correct here. Statement B says all members of kingdom animalia consist of only four basic type of tissues. This statement is incorrect. You know that the porifera Phylum porifera, which includes sponges, and you know that the sponges they have cellular level of organization in sponges. The cells they do not aggregate to form tissues, so they lack tissue. So, statement B is incorrect, stating that all members of kingdom animalia consist of only four basic types of tissue because porifera they lack tissue level of organization statement c says when two or more organs perform a common function by their physical or chemical interaction they together form an organ system this statement is correct here you know that the cell they aggregate to form tissue tissue they aggregate to form organs and numerous organs they function together to form an organ system like if we take the example of stomach intestine pancreas liver they are different organs but they work together to help in the digestion of food and they they form the digestive system so statement c is correct here statement d says the organ stomach in human has all four types of tissue this statement is correct you know that the stomach wall made up of four layers from the outermost, if we start, stomach wall has four layer. Outermost is the serosa. Serosa, which is a layer of peritoneum and it is form of epithelial tissue. Then there is muscularis. which consists of longitudinal circular and oblique muscle layer so it is made up of muscular tissue then there is some mucosa which is made up of some mucosa which is made up of connective tissues And it comprises of loose connective tissue and then there is mucosa layer and in between muscularis and some mucosa there is numerous nerve plexus and they represent nervous tissue so all four types of tissues are present in stomach so statement D is correct here so in the question it is asked how many above statements are correct so there are three correct statements making option first as the answer for our question. So moving on to our next question, question 137, which says in epithelial tissue, option first, cells are compactly packed with large amount of intercellular matrix. This statement is incorrect here because in epithelial tissue, the cells are compactly packed. This is correct. But in the another portion of the statement, it is said with large amount of intercellular matrix. While there is very little amount of intercellular matrix present between the cells of epithelial tissue. So statement 1 is uh, incorrect regarding the epithelial tissue. Option 2 here says a free surface is present which faces either a body fluid or the outside environment. You know that the epithelial tissue they form covering or lining throughout the body and these tissues are not covered by any other kind of tissue. 
So they always have a free surface which either faces the body fluid or the outside environment. So statement 2 is correct regarding the epithelial tissue. Statement 3 says the tissue provides a covering or lining for all parts of body. This statement is incorrect regarding the epithelial tissue because it doesn't provide covering for all parts of body. Statement 4 says the cells are always loosely packed with little intracellular matrix. This statement is incorrect because the cells, they are closely packed with little intercellular, not intracellular matrix. So among the four options, option 2 is correct regarding the epithelial tissue and is also the answer for our question. So moving on to our next question, question 138. Match the following columns and choose the correct answer. In column 1, there is given different types of epithelium and in column 2, their respective location. So A here says simple squamous epithelium. Simple squamous epithelium consists of a single layer of flattened cells which help in the exchange of material. And simple squamous epithelium is found in air sacs of lungs where they help in the exchange of gases. So A here matches with 2. B is simple cuboidal epithelium. Simple cuboidal epithelium consists of a single layer of cells and they are cuboidal in shape. And such kind of epithelium is found in lining of the nephrons, specifically the proximal convoluted tubule and the distal convoluted tubule. That is PCT and DCT. So B here matches with first C that is simple ciliated epithelium. In simple ciliated epithelium, the free surface of the cell they are bearing cilia which help in the movement of the substances. And such kind of epithelium are present in bronchioles and fallopian tube. In bronchioles, they help in the movement of the mucus and along with the mucus, it also help in the removal of certain particles which get trapped in it. And in, in fallopian tube, these uh, ciliated epithelium, it help in the movement of ova through the fallopian tubes. So C here matches with fourth. And D is simple columnar epithelium. Simple columnar epithelium consists of tall slender cells which help in the secretion as well as absorption. And such kind of epithelium is present in stomach and intestine. So D here matches with third. Making option third as the answer for our question. So moving on to our next question. Question 139 says which type of epithelium has limited role in secretion and absorption? Option first that is simple epithelium. Simple epithelium which is present in the lining of intestine. It helps in absorption of nutrients and also it produces numerous enzymes. So it has role in both secretion as well as absorption. So this cannot be an answer since it has major role in secretion and absorption. Option two that is simple cuboidal epithelium. Simple cuboidal epithelium form the lining of the PCT and DCT where they help in the reabsorption of the materials from the filtrate. So this cannot be an answer. Option three that is compound epithelium. Compound epithelium consists of many layers of cells cells and they have mainly protective function such kind of epithelium line the dry surfaces of skin and they has limited role in secretion and absorption making option 3 as the answer for our question option 4 that is simple columnar epithelium Simple columnar epithelium which form the lining of the intestine and stomach has a major role in secretion and absorption. So this cannot be an answer. So moving on to our next question. Question 140 which says read the following statements. Statement A. Columnar or cuboidal cells get specialized for secretion and are called glandular epithelium. This statement is correct. Columnar or cuboidal cells of the epithelium tissue, they get specialized for secretion and eventually form different kinds of glands like salivary gland, pancreatic glands, liver. They all are found from the epithelial tissue. So, 
स्टेटमेंट ए इज करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट बी से इज एक्सोक्राइन ग्लैंड सिक्रीट म्यूकस सलाइवा मिल्क इंसुलिन एंजाइम एसेट्रा यू ऑल नो दैट दे आर टू काइंड ऑफ ग्लैंड वन इज एक्सोक्राइन एंड अनादर वन इज दी एंडोक्राइन these exocrine glands they have ducts with which they pour their secretion directly over their target organs while the endocrine gland they are ductless glands and they pour their secretion in the blood and blood ultimately carry it to their target organ so in the question it says that exocrine gland secrete mucus saliva milk insulin and enzymes etc this statement is incorrect because insulin is a hormone and hormones they are produced by endocrine gland not exocrine gland so statement b is incorrect here statement c says globulin cells are unicellular glands while salivary glands are multicellular glands the statement is also correct globulin cells are unicellular glands and they produce mucus and salivary glands which produce saliva they are multicellular kind of glands and salivary glands are exocrine gland which pour their secretion with the help of duct statement d says tight junction cement the neighboring cells together this statement is incorrect because the the cementing of two cells is done by adhering junction not tight junction tight junction they prevent the leakage of substances across a layer of cell so in the question it is asked how many above statements are correct so there are two correct statements making option 1 as the answer for our question so let's proceed to our next question